and Lindsay went to the prison to visit her father for the first time, but didn't get the reception she was expecting. I want to thank you for coming here. It took a lot of guts. The reason I'm here today is because I felt that I, I needed to say something. Oh, okay. My whole life, all you've ever praised me for is, is my looks. Oh, no, your looks. Yes, right. Dad. Uh, I mean, it's always been. Michael's got the brains, Job's got the charm, Buster's got the... High fastening pants. Have you said that? No, I'm saying that now. So anyway, look, if you're wondering why I haven't visited, maybe it's because I want it to be thought of as more than just a beautiful face and a gorgeous head of hair. Lindsay was surprised once again that no heads were turned. I'm gonna go shopping. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Lindsay put on her new outfit and returned to prison. George Sr. was once again being visited by his daughter. Okay, that's it. I don't want, you can't, I don't, I, uh, please, you gotta stop uh, coming here. It is obvious I'm not wearing a bra, right? I can't take this anymore. I am, uh, I, I'm, I'm paying far too big a price for this. Well, what about me? I mean, this is the third time I've come here. I haven't even been remotely harassed. That is not what I'm paying for. Have I lost it? Did I ever even have it? I'm paying thousands of dollars in Krugerrands. What? Gold Krugerrands. Your mother snuck them in here, stuffed in an energy bar wrappers to keep me from getting strangled in the shower or worse. Stabbed? In a way. I used them to pay off the other guys, to stop them from hollering obscenities at my, my little girl. But you keep coming back here, honey, and I'm going broke. It's all I've ever wanted from you, Daddy. For you to spend money on me. Don't touch it! 